Let's walk through a similar example with substitutes. Now, we've already done the math, so I'll make the part a little bit simplistic here. But we're, we have ham and we have turkey. Um, let's just say that the price of ham has gone up by 10%. Let's show that on the graph. So we have a price increase, which, as you know, means that less ham is going to be sold. So the price has gone from P1 to P2, and the quantity has decreased from Q1 to Q2. And then what do we have over here? The quantity of turkey sold increases by 25%. So, somewhere around here, we now have Q1 up to Q2. Now, right away, you can see opposite directions, right? As one sells less, the other sells more. That would tell you right off the bat, just logically, that they are substitutes. Those two things occur together. But let's take a look at the math. Again, the, the cross-price elasticity is going to be equal to the percentage change in quantity, so that's going to be turkey in this case, I'll put a T for that, divided by the percentage change in the price of ham. And in this case, that would be equal to 25% divided by 10%. And actually, we're going to need to make sure we put our signs in in this case, right? So price of ham is increased, that's a positive, but the quantity of turkey sold has also increased, that's a positive. So our answer is going to be equal to 2.5. So the cross-price elasticity of demand here is 2.5. That answer is a positive number. And when you get a positive number, because, again, both signs are positive here, that means that the two goods are substitutes. And so, again, why are substitutes always positive? Or why is the answer positive? Let's do the same thing we did before. So we started off with the price of A going up. So when the price of a good goes up, we know the quantity of that good sold goes down. Um, so we're going to let's just call these A, the price of A and the quantity of A. So then, on the other hand, we know that if the good is a substitute, if we're going to buy less ham in this case, we're going to buy more turkey in this case. So the quantity of good B is going to go up. So again, when you see that the relationship between the price of good of one good and the quantity of the other is going in the same direction, then that tells you that those two goods are substitutes, and that's the reason why.